What's up everybody, this is the one and only Fitness for the Average Joe and I got another quick video for y'all and I hope y'all enjoy it. Okay, so I'm building up on what I was talking about last time. Okay, so continuing with the little bit I've been learning about JK, JKD and what I've been incorporating into my routines and also marrying it with what I learned in boxing. So as we all know, um, Bruce Lee was heavily um, influenced by boxing, okay? So what we gotta um, tackle today, we gotta tackle um, SDA, which is a single direct attack, okay? And what we gotta work on is on, on the jab itself, right? Because it usually refers to the jab, okay? Which is a long weapon. And we also gotta be um, continue talking on the principle of fencing, which is using your long weapons, right? Which is um, fencing without a sword, okay? So this is the way it goes. So we gotta start working on that, and I'm gonna try to interpret it the best way I can and I'm gonna be teaching you what I've learned when I was in the boxing gym and we gotta like put it together and hopefully you have something that you could work with and hope hopefully you like this okay so when you're talking about um using a sword as a long weapon right or fencing without a sword so what you're talking about is long weapon okay because the reason um to my understanding the reason Bruce Lee liked it fencing so much is because you have a lot of distance and it gives you good defense and you don't have to be too close to things so you have enough move enough room to move and apply your your techniques and be at a safe distance where you can come in and out and keep the person at bay okay to my understanding all right so we're gonna start right now so when I was in the boxing gym when I was young I used to train at Fort Apache and my coach would teach me that I have different ways of jabbing okay so you have First of all, the first jab you have is a straight jab up. Okay, the reason it's up, because at the same time that it's up, you see, what it does, it protects you from the right cross. Because if they throw the right cross, well, since your head is tucked in, most likely it will hit your shoulder, and then you could just drop your head down. Okay, so that's like an added protection. Okay, so when you jab, you jab like this, straight. If you want to have power, push into the jab, okay, I'll do it from this angle, push into the jab, then you have the up jab, which is very difficult to see, because you gotta bring it in an upward motion, which comes up like this, you bring it down, comes up like this, you bring it down, so it's deceptive, it's something like this, you bring it, and you move back, you move back so you can stay at a distance, and you're not trying to knock out the person, you're just trying to put it in the face to distract them, okay? Then, also, you have the straight jab, step to the side, and jab this way. Then you can triple your jab, which will be one, two, three, and then you play around with it. Okay, continuing with SDA, which comes from boxing, but it also comes from fencing, right? Okay, when you're talking about the jab, in fencing, you parry hit. Okay, so you gotta do the same thing with your jab hand. So if somebody punches at you, you bring it down, parry it, and hit over. So it gets to the point where the individual's not gonna wanna really punch at you, because every time they come punching at you, you gotta make them pay. So it's something like this. Bring it down, jab over. Bring it down, jab, jab. Twice, with strength. Okay. Then you got um catching the jab or catching the right hand. So you do something like this. The person punches, you catch it, jab over. That's a basic boxing technique that most boxers learn and they always teach. And it's you catch it, you punch. Catch it, punch. Or parry this way, punch. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate for y'all. I'm gonna do a little short routine. Hopefully y'all can follow along. Hopefully you got the concept and I'm going to do different things and it should be enjoyable. Ready guys? Let's go. So I'm going to put my, my gloves to have a little extra weight. Because it builds your shoulders and I guess you're used to um, having something heavy in your hands and then when you remove it, then you should be that much faster. So ready guys? Let's start. So 
nice position. Make sure you're sideways. Okay. You don't want to get too much of a. You don't want to show too much of your vital organs. You want to make sure you have them put away to the side. Nice and low. And we get to start. Ready? Well, guys, that's a little bit. I hope you learned something. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. See you soon.